A couple videos ago, I played an intro groove to highlight a Black Beauty snare drum, which was the center topic of that video. I got some questions about what exactly I was playing, so I thought I would take a few minutes to break down that groove and to share with you where I got it from. I heard it explained in an interview with drumming legend Pete Thomas, who got it from David Hidalgo of Los Lobos. If you don't know about Pete Thomas, you should check him out. He's a British drummer whose best known work is with Elvis Costello, but has worked with so many artists, including Sheryl Crow, Johnny Cash, Randy Newman, Neil Flynn, Los Lobos, and Squeeze, just to name a few. I'll break down my interpretation of this groove for you first, and then I'll play a clip from the interview so you can hear it from the man himself, so be sure to stick around and check that out. And since we're here anyway, I'll also take this opportunity to showcase yet another one of my favorite snare drums. This is a 14 by six and a half a and bronze. It's only a few years old, but it has that vintage appearance and style with single flange brass hoops, tensioned rod clips, and leather gaskets. It's definitely a throwback to the early 1900s and is made by hand in Austin, Texas by Rami Antoon and company. Okay, so the concept here is that you play the jazz swing pattern on the ride cymbal or the hi-hat. while playing continuous straight eighth notes on the snare, accenting the two and the four. How swung or how straight you play each part is up to you. But being able to separate the hands in this way is definitely one of the challenges here. And another one will be your snare drum hand as you get to the higher tempos. How fast you can play the groove will be limited by how fast you can play eighth notes with that hand. The feet, in my example, are just keeping the quarter note pulse, alternating between the bass drum and the hi-hat. But you can choose any bass drum pattern that works best for your musical situation. So I'll play it at 185 beats per minute first, which is roughly the speed on the video, and then I'll slow it down just a bit to 150. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Thomas. Which is a way of playing rock and roll, but with a swing to it, which is, it's basic, it's, it's, there's a song called Whiskey Trail that I did with them. Well, you swing the hi-hat. But the snare is straight. So it's a A few years later, I did an album with Squeeze. I joined up with Squeeze, and there's a song of theirs called Third Rail, which I use that on. And the, and the drum with Squeeze now has come to me and said the same thing, like, what's that? What are you doing? You know? <laughs> well, so first of all, this is the um, Los Lobos version of it. The entire two-part interview is called Behind the Kit with Pete Thomas and was posted in May of this year, 2022, on the Produce Like a Pro YouTube channel. It's so worth watching and I'll link both parts in the description. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you taking the time to check it out. And as always, I welcome your thoughts in the comments.